I definitely feel like some of our Passover people who didn't function well in life are over there learning through us still. So sometimes when I get a dysfunctional relationship, for example, um, I'll bring up my own stepdad. He, he was very dysfunctional. And when he came through to other mediums, and when I've had people come through to me who were dysfunctional in life, they often come through with a notebook and a pen. And they say, oh, I could have... I could have done that instead. And they are learning through very often the very person that I'm giving the reading to. Does that make sense? They're continuously looking down here, going through a life review, realizing how they messed up, realizing how what they did to mess up um, has affected generations and created ripples of, of cycles. And Well, my first question there, though, would be, isn't it too little too late if you passed on and, you know... No. No, because here's what a lot of people want you to think. They want you to think that you get to the other side and it's all love and light. And some suddenly you're omnipotent and you just know everything. And you're like your own little God. I don't believe that. And it's not what I've seen. I think that this is a learning phase. And I think that when we get over there, we keep a lot of people also say that we lose our ego when we get to the other side. I don't believe that either because our ego is who we are. It, it is a necessary component to our personality as long as it's not up too up here and it's yeah. not too down here. There's a balance to everything, moderation in everything, right? Sure. And so what happens is, it, it is my opinion from what I have seen from the other side is that they are still learning on the other side and that the lessons that they learn down here are part of what they take to the other side in order to start becoming a better person, a more whole person, what have you. I have brought through so many apologies from the other side to people. Now, having said that, anybody who's a sitter or a human, let's say if I was sitting for you and there was someone on the other side that you did not want to talk to, I never, ever tell somebody they have to talk to them. And you will have mediums who are like, you need to forgive them to move on. No, you don't. No, you don't. (laughs) You need to forgive yourself. You need to be kind to yourself. But you don't need to talk to someone who abused you from the other side or from any side. You don't need to have a conversation through a medium who is trying to force something on you. So if I ever have somebody who says, I don't want to talk to that person, I stop immediately and I tell spirit to go away. She doesn't want to talk to you. Now, if the human, the sitter is up to apologies, then I will absolutely also go in and get those. But I would never force someone to have any conversation that they didn't want to have with anyone. 